Hey there guys, happy Thursday to you. Man, I just realized it was Thursday. Isn't that a sweet treat to sit down and do a video and realize that it's Thursday. So there we go, happy Thursday my friends. We are working in our Grown Up Girls Wish Book today. I had, um, I, I have to read you guys a comment that we got recently, we received recently on the YouTube site uh, when we were talking about Mr. K and his, um, you know, and his little trials that we're going through. This is from Rodin70, and she says, thank you for the kind words in another video towards chronically ill people and those who experience illness and loss from people or loved pets. Husband and I are both chronically ill, and indeed, it is coping day by day with less energy and lots of pain, and it's draining. Luckily enough, we have each other and a very sweet cat. We are blessed with our love, but a lot of, your, a lot of healthy people don't understand how small your world can become and how hard life is in a world where work and a social life is a standard. A couple, well, it all like just really hit me like a ton of bricks. Just a beautiful comment from a beautiful soul. Coping day by day and it's draining. Um, and I, we have been experiencing that. Uh, um, it, it's, it is, it's draining to, 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 um, you know, to just figure everything out on, on this level. And this is our dog. So this is not like a loved one or a child or anything like that. Um, but I think that the thing that really caught me with Roden's comment was that um, how your world starts to get small. But a lot of healthy people don't understand how small your world can become. And that just like really hit home. Uh, Chris and I are not going anywhere together because one of us really needs to be here with the dog at all times. Um, our social life is like it's it's never been we 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 don't have a social life we have a work life but that's kind of about it um but most people have like a social life and a work life and things like that um when people uh grow chronically ill they their their world kind of get smaller so instead of expanding you know we are shrinking um if you, you know, life is about expansion, and if you listen to Abraham, they express this as a continuous unfolding that causes us to ask and sift and sort about what we want and what we don't want, with the ultimate goal being to focus on what you do want and let the rest fall to the wayside. It's kind of like the Buddhist tenant that says, um, let go or be dragged. Um, I, I, I love let go or be dragged, my, um, I post about it and I go, let go or be dragged and, or, or, um, dragging around dead things is no way to live. That's another little Buddhist tenant. Um, but my friend is a coroner and she says, Hey, 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 it's a great way to make a living. <laughs> so, you know, a little coroner human there for you. Um, so we're supposed to focus on what we do want and kind of let everything else go. Um, in biblical terms, we know we uh, know the words ask and it's given. You know, seek and you'll find. Uh, so seeking is expansion. You know, you're looking around, you're sifting and sorting. Uh, knock and the door will be open to you. Knock being the action of ask, seek, find, knock. Um, anyway, so today we are going to work in this journal. We are, uh, working on expansion. Uh, we're working on, uh, what we, what we want, you know, uh, while still appreciating the present moment and nothing quite rivets you to the present moment as, um, illness. Now, case in point. This well, you know, the K man hasn't really had a big appetite, and um, uh, this morning he wanted snaps. Uh, these are like a little treat cookie, 
and he ate a lot of snaps, which was really great. And just the whole, um, the whole um, experience of, of feeding him from my hand and, you know, just feeling his little lips just gnaw around on my hand for those snaps. Just, I can't explain it. It was like a spiritual and wonderful thing. You know, it was a beautiful thing. So you, you learn to like really, really appreciate like those small things. All right. Uh, let's get on with this and then I'll talk a little more about, um, well, what I'm doing here is I am adding a section in my book about, um, expansion, my personal expansion, my knowing what I do want is to live at the ocean. I know my ocean home is already there in vibrational escrow. Um, I work every day on alignment, um, uh, not working, um, being gentler with myself in order to feel good to align with my veritable fortune of living at the ocean. So this is our Grown Up Girl Switch Book. It has sections in it. It's, um, this one is about space. You know, what do you want your space to look like? The way that these come together, y'all, and I'll link the video, the original video in an iCard, is that... Um, you go through magazines and you circle the stuff that you really, really love. Um, it should be super quick and fast. And then you paste them into your book. Your book has become your expanded universe. These are the things that you love. These are the things that you want. And if you put them in your book, then they're yours. They're yours on a metaphysical level. They may not be yours physically, but they're yours metaphysically. They're in that place. Uh, if you if you read um, biblical text, uh, you know that there is a um, there's a, a quote about um, uh, that the stuff that's really important is not the stuff that you can see is the unseen world. Um, so, you know, this is kind of your unseen. This is the thing that is, um, that, that you love, that makes your heart sing. So, what I'm doing today is I'm going to add a little section about my beach house. And we'll just do it right here since I just mysteriously flipped to that page. Um, I made a little Lucy. And so she is going to be, um, I think what I'm going to do here is just, I think I'm just going to staple her in with my Swingline 1995 stapler with the staple remover. <laughs> just um, put her in like right here. And my Lucy says, Beach House. This is a great exercise if you want to get rid of some magazines. It's a wonderful exercise. If you, if you are a shut-in and you're feeling shut-in and you want to have the experience of expansion, um, it's just a wonderful way to get lost for a little while. Now, I did pick up some of these uh, brochures the last time that I went to Lowe's. And I really love the brochures. So this is kind of what I'm going to use as a basis for my planning of my, my beach house. Um, hey, look, octopus. <laughs> it's so funny. Apparently, this part of this old book is about uh, doodle the tourist attractions. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. That was like crazy. I also picked up some color samples because I like all these colors. I really do want to change the color of my upstairs tower bower, but you know, that's going to be something that we are going to have to wait on. But I thought all the, all the hues were just really, you know, quite, quite lovely, quite lovely. I, li I like them all. Uh, so let's just start with, um, with just going through a brochure and just cutting a few things out. Now, the way that I do this is I like to take a Sharpie and I like to uh, just go through and pick out decor items that I like. You know, we've kind of got the color thing going on. Um, so, uh, you know, what do I want this to look? I love this right here. Look at that bathroom. I mean, that's really extravagant bathroom, but it's 
really pretty. I kind of like the tub. And I was thinking the other day, you know, oh, wouldn't it be fun in my beach house to have a tub that overlooked, um, overlooked the ocean. You know, so you could lie in the tub and look at the ocean. Oh, my gosh. That would be so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Sharpie around this. I'm not crazy about this bedroom. Really not crazy about this. Um, and of course, you know, we want to not only like have fun piddling with the decor, but we also like to be inspired by, um, by the words that we might find in brochures like this. And I see worthy up here, meaning that I am worthy. I am worthy of having, um, a place, uh, you know, the home of my dreams. Now, I will tell you where I live is the home of my dreams as well because I love it here. It's a very, it's a 70-year-old house with a lot of character, um, a beautiful yard, you know. I mean, Lord knows she needs work, but she's 70. So, you know, when you get to be 70, you do need work. Um, in addition, see, I, I picked out some blues for my color palette, but I really, I'm really liking some yellows as well. So I think I'm going to choose a few yellows to play with too. John Cole yellow. That's a jolly color, isn't it? The John Coles have bloomed and they are gone now. Boo. But they sure were pretty when they were here. Uh, okay, now, is there anything else that I want to use here? Hmm, I love the word harmony, so I think I'm going to whack that one out. Oh, it even says perfect harmony. I love that. So we'll use that. The idea behind this is to get out of your head. Uh, if you're a caregiver, if you are experiencing illness or loss or grief, it is advisable to get out of your head. Get out of your head for a while. Um, all right, let's look at this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do like that book stack. I mean, that's kind of a cool book stack, so I think we'll have a book stack. Look, it's got a little sailboat on it, and I love that blue. Really good book stack. All right, so we'll have that. Now the rest of that red kind of looks mm, farmhousey. Not really my thing. Not really my thing, but I have been doing a lot in a farmhouse style um, from our friend's shop, which is kind of cool. See, that's expansion. It's good to kind of break out. And, all right, I'm going to choose a few blues from here as well. Dig in the blue. Isn't that pretty? Blue is a calming color. A therapeutic color. Okay, so we've got this and this. I'll put this in the little recycle bin. We'll see what we got over here. Oh, that was that. Uh, we've got one more. And there's a sweet little color palette, too. Mm -mm -mm. See, I like that whole thing. Um, the only thing that throws me off here is this fur. These fur chairs. I don't like that very much. Um, let's see what else is going on in here. Ooh, yeah. Mm, look at that. See, very simple bed. Very simple, simple. And it's white. It's very pretty. Um, I love this chair with the stack of snuggle blankets on it. That's cute. That's a fort or a little one. So I like these things. There we go. Great way to kind of use up magazines or brochures or things that you get in the mail. I've noticed a lot of, uh, you know, decor kind of spring and summer decor things coming through my mailbox. 
So I keep some and then I recycle the rest. Mm, I love these whites. I love this white and blue right here. Okay, there we go. Let's see if there's anything else in here that I'm digging. Oh, I love that bathroom. Isn't that pretty? I kind of almost like that one better than I did the other one. We'll just put them both because you never know. You never know what your Oceanside Shore Beach house is going to look like, and it might have two bathrooms, right? Most places do. Oh, it feels good just to be cutting something out. Playing, playing for a minute. All right, all right, time to start putting some of this together. Okay, and this can go in the recycle bin. I'll probably use some of that for other things. All right, we did have one more. I mean, this really, it kind of has an ocean bob right here because this is a, this is, um, looks like coral in this lamp, so I'll take that much. I mean, the wicker's cool, but it's okay. I don't think wicker is comfortable myself, but, you know, in my house, it's going to be all about the comfort. It's going to be beautiful. It already is beautiful because I'm putting it in my book. There we go. More kind of like seashore stuff here. Wow, lots of seashore. All right, we're just going to use all this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We're not even going to. We're not even going to marker it with our Sharpie. We love it all. Beautiful. I love the way those shingles are painted. Some shingles right there. Okay. All right. Now we've kind of got our palette set. We know what you know what mode we're operating in. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we'd like to have. Mmm. Love this desk. Right here, we're just gonna go ahead and have that as well. That looks very seashore-y. Seashore-y. <laughs> seashore. All right. All right, there we go. Now, we've got some things that we wanna work with here. So, that goes in the recycling. This goes down here. Get all this stuff off my desk. All right, let's just start gluing some things in. So, life is about expansion. So, when we're ill or taking care of somebody who is ill, then um, we begin to kind of shrink. Our, our world starts to kind of get smaller. Um, you know, day-to-day -day tasks become really challenging in light of our disease. And uh, instead of expanding, we been, begin to kind of pull in, you know. Um, so, this book... Is designed to make the world bigger okay uh, so let's start putting some things down I love this for an office um, I think what I'll start out as office decor we'll just do that so we'll do a little bit of office and we'll kind of just let that page be office stuff okay so we're gonna do that I am gonna circle it because I just really like doing that okay all right, what else is going to be in our office? You know, what's going to be, this is definitely going to be ideas for our bathroom. Um, I do love the tubs. Nothing like a nice tub bath with salt in it to make you just feel like a million bucks. And this is another bathroom idea right here. A bit smaller, I love the colors. Look at the ottoman. Has an ottoman in the bathroom. 
I don't know, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, and then our bed situation. This is our bedroom right here. Now, I have not chosen anything for um, a kitchen. Ooh, in our bedroom, we definitely want this big book stack. Mm, yep. Um, what else do we want? I love this like candle light here. It's a, uh, a lantern. So we're going to put lanterns. Sorry, my glues are pretty much downstairs at the moment. So, beautiful lantern here. So this is our bedroom. And then our living room. I'm just not really sure yet. I do know I do want that in my living room. I love this as a decor item for our living room. And this as well, too. And I like this color for a living room. So we're just going to knock all that down real quick. So I hope that you guys will, um, will try this, you know, um, it, it, it just can kind of, I, I can't tell you, um, the, the really sweet satisfaction that I've gotten from just being able, Chris is home right now and I can hear him talking to the dog downstairs. Um, just being able to just kind of be up here for a few minutes and, um, Working my book has gotten me out of my head, which is, oh, it's awesome. All right. Um, I did want to put this stack of blankets over here. I like that. You know, the stack of blankets with the books. Mmm. All right. You know, I do love the words in perfect harmony, uh, especially for um, a bedroom. So we'll use that there. And um, I really do like the word worthy for the bathroom because you're worthy of that downtime, ladies, guys, who's ever watching. <laughs> you're really worthy of it. So, so don't let anybody tell you that you aren't. Um, I think for a bathroom, you need kind of a light color. So I do, I do like those colors. So I'm thinking about yellow for a color palette. I'm definitely thinking in my bedroom that I'm, I would like to have something a little bit lighter. So we're choosing a color palette there. Um, let's see, what else did we do? Okay, and we chose our color palettes for our living room right here. So, there we go. Um, I'm taking my, my sorrow and sadness at this situation. And I am using that as a way to expand my universe and expand my feelings and get out of my head for a little while so i hope that you guys i can't cover up that octopus because that's just too cool right there i hope you guys uh enjoyed a little look at my grown-up girl's wish book i hope that this helps you get out of your own head a little bit um, um big blessings to all of you thank you for your kind thoughts about mr k and i will keep you posted thanks a lot y'all have a great day bye